Welcome back to Horseshoe Huddle here at Sports Illustrated. I am your host, Kim Becker, and joining me is senior analyst Jake Arthur. And OTAs have begun over at the Indianapolis Colts at the whole NFL, I guess. But Jake, can you catch us up on really what's going on with the Colts, what some guys have been saying during these OTAs? Yeah, certainly. Good to be back with you this week. Uh, yeah, But yeah, it's time to get back into some on-field stuff with the Colts. Uh, there's not a whole lot you can take from the on-field stuff yet. They're just kind of starting to gel and just getting getting the rust knocked off. Uh, but some guys have, have been talking, give us some noteworthy things. Uh, one thing I thought was, was noteworthy was uh, Jacob Eason, the second-year quarterback. He talked to the media, I think, yesterday, and he mentioned, you know, it's good that he's got a firm grasp on the offense now. Last year was kind of a redshirt year for him. Uh, so he's got a firm grasp on the offense and is just much more comfortable heading into the second year than he was last year, of course. Um, the the offseason should be a lot more normal <laughs> this time around. Guys can be there on site and things like that. So that's that's something to look at when, when we see the backup quarterback battle between him and Sam Ellinger later this summer. Uh, Michael Pittman Jr. and Zach Paschal and Eason as well, uh, they all – they all kind of sang Carson Wentz's praises, uh, both as a teammate and leader, as well as um, his, his on-field physical tools. Now, some people have kind of been using that to be like, oh, if everyone in Philadelphia was wrong about that. It's OTAs. If there were, if there was already an issue, that would be an enormous problem. So we'll wait until there's any sort of, any sort of thing that muddies the water to, to make any judgments there. But uh, he's been doing all the right things so far. Uh, he's They said he's organized throwing sessions outside the, the facility um, and really in California and I guess here locally with pretty much all his pass catchers so far. So, I mean, he's he's taking it upon, upon himself to build chemistry with these guys. He's doing his part. Everything is, you know, he, he's doing the right thing so far. Uh, and then as far as the defense goes, uh, talk to a couple – uh, defensive backs yesterday and TJ Carey and Kari Willis. Uh, it's a young secondary and Carey's one of the the old heads, the veterans there. Um, he really likes what they have in this young group. Says they've been making plays, you know, previously, but they expect even more uh, coming up. You know, you got guys like uh, Rocky Sin, Julian Blackman, Willis himself. Uh, let's see. Marvell Tell is back from uh, from his COVID hiatus last year. Uh, so that's, that's something to look forward to. And uh, new cornerbacks coach, James Rowe, Kerry kind of talked positively about him as well. Uh, they really seem to dig his, his laid back style, but he's also very, very helpful. Uh, so he's got a good approach with them as well. Awesome. Well, exciting stuff. You know, these OTAs, it's definitely kind of given us a little bit of a, a taste of what the off season hopefully will be like, but good to see that chemistry working out between these guys. Absolutely. Thanks, Jake.